quite a nice view if it wasn't so misty. Crowds used to gather to watch executions. Oh, that's nice. Right, we're right in the middle now, aren't we? Yep. Rope Lane. Quaint little uh, alleyways. No, it can't go in there. Sorry, Pops. Later, maybe. We've got a westy one. Can't see a westy one. No, it's a, got a Yorky one. Off to Shrewsbury. I think it's actually a little bit warmer now. It says 0 degrees. Yeah, it doesn't look as frosty. No, it wasn't too bad on our walk. Just a bit here. Yeah, because well, you've got black eyes, don't you? And it's uh, well, I don't think it's, it's even that. It's just a bit of you know frozen water. Yeah, we haven't had any snow, have we? We had nope. a tiny little bit of rain last night. It's a little bit drizzle in the air, I think. If anything, we're well, supposed to be foggy as well, isn't it? Yeah. Figure out how to get out of here. It's left here, presumably. Yeah, past the reception. Yeah. We're heading to Frankwell, aren't we? We're going to try the, was it Frank? Well, I don't know whether it's a car park or an NCP or what, but... Uh... Please drive to highlighted route. It's like barrier problems. Yeah. As long as he doesn't make it come down whilst we're going yeah, that's underneath. Right. <laughs> that's right, vital control. We're going to go into Shrewsbury today, um, and before anyone says, we could take the, the park and ride it, except it doesn't run on a Sunday. So uh, we're just going to take the van in today and uh, see what it's like. We might take the park and ride. Uh, Turn left onto Welshville Road. Monday or Tuesday. Did a little walk round here, so I think I'll, I'll show you that. A little walk around yesterday to show you the shops and things. Oh, so we've just come down to have a look at the shops here. There's a pharmacy, there's a co-op, and it's a Segan CBD store and a Greg's and a fish bar and a Chinese. Oh well, that's right next door to the park and ride. And I've told the buses go every on the 20 past and 22 so it must be about 22 now because of the bus there well, you can walk through the park and ride uh, there's a gate that takes you across the field and into the park you wouldn't be able to bring your motor home here to park and ride no that was yeah. two metre height barrier yeah, yeah. So I, say, I think we're going to take the motor home in on Sunday. The park and ride doesn't operate on a Sunday, so we're going to go into Shrewsbury. And the yes, I didn't mention the park and ride's two pound return each, I suppose. Yeah, it brings you to this gate. Yeah, so I think it's about a five minute walk. So all my chips get cold. Yeah. <laughs> No, I don't think so. I think your chips will be all right. There is a pub here as well, isn't there? Is there? Yeah. It's on the left here. Yeah, just down here. Oh, all right. It's supposed to be nice. The grapes. It's got quite a big car park. Zoom cheaper there. 163. Wow. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. Could have waited to fill up if I'd have seen known that was there. Seems like a bargain, 163. <laughs> Do we know what road we're on? Uh, blah, 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 blah. The main thing going in. Main thing going in. No idea. No signs. <laughs> Because it's sort of like over the river. I don't know whether we've come in north of the river. It's near the Theatre 7.
Frankwell P. Okay. Yeah, and Victoria Key is sort of up the opposite side of the river to the car park. What's Victoria Key then? It's a quayside key. Okay. You could take a boat trip, but not not the moment. Right. So this this is the car park. So it's saying Frankwell 588. No, 508 spaces. So. Don't exaggerate. We need two. We might be all right. Yeah, it's a straight on then, presumably. It looks like straight on, yeah. Yeah, there's the theatre. Frankwell Key, is that but, the one we're on? Uh, no, you want the straight on. Frankwell Long Stay. Long Stay, okay. It's a, bit, a little bit tiny, that. I see a motor, motor already. It does look like it pays to come early, doesn't it? Yeah. When I looked on the council yeah. website, they said they had no dedicated okay. motor home spots. spots. He's parked along there, isn't he, in the long ones? Yeah, yeah. We have to take up two. Which way, which way? Left? Left, I think. I think yeah. go left, because... Behind the auto trail then? Yeah, or... Yeah, go behind the auto trail. Yeah, how many spaces do we need? <laughs> A drizzle in the air, but yeah, no, it's not bad. Parking, I believe the car parking is free. I better just go and double check. Oh, yeah, free. Yeah, so if you're using two bays, double up. Well, there's probably not many coaches about at this time of no, year, is no, there? No, that's right. There's a map it. there, but we've there's got a, map, yeah. a town map, haven't we? Have a look. We've got a map. Yep. We're here. Okay. Okay, so we've got the theatre, this side, and the library, castle, prison, right there, castle and prison. Okay, gallery. All right. Don't know where we're going to go first. Go on the box. So this is a seven, presumably. Yeah, it's through the seven. I'm trying to think if we ever went came here on the boat. No, no. I think you confuse it with Tewkesbury. No. Uh, Yeah, it's not exactly scenic today, is it? No. <laughs> be quite a nice view if it wasn't so misty. Go for river trips. Not this time of year, you can't. Ends in October. There's a shopping centre that way. Where are you going down here? Okay. Shopping centre and town centre and museum and art gallery and swimming centre. The Castle and Regimental Museum are over that way. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, obviously doing something about it. Riverina's High Town. Yeah, where? Hi. Sorry? Crowds used to gather to watch executions. Oh, that's nice. A nice family activity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's the fun gone? I don't do that anymore, <laughs> do I? There's some interesting looking old buildings here, aren't there? 
Yeah, that's a very old place. Yeah. Look at the ones up there. Can I have a look up there? Oh, because nearer the church, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, Poppy. The trouble with coming with Poppy is that she, she's more interested in what's on the <laughs> ground than what's <laughs> up here. This is the really old bit, isn't it? Yeah. Get your tattoo done whilst you're waiting for your hair cut. Really old, uh, well, that looks like an old pub, doesn't it? Oh, we're right in the middle now, aren't we? Yep. Rope Lane. What? <laughs> the bare steps. Okay. Cafe there. Oop. Just like these quaint little uh, alleyways. Little Mexican restaurant here. A Tudor style house. Three fishes. The original smoke free public house, it says it is. <laughs> right, okay. No, we won't talk about the football. <laughs> Thank Next you, Bob. <laughs> yeah, don't mention the football. No. Yeah, very nice. No, it can't go in there. Sorry, Pops. Later, maybe. Go on. Perhaps on Monday when we're not driving. It's closed on Mondays. No, is it? <laughs> Perhaps on Tuesday then. The old post office. Where? It's over there. Oh, yeah. Blimey. You could see, get lost around here, couldn't you? See why you might need a map. That's, this is the high street. Well, so this must be right in the centre then. Yeah. So, so this is Wild why, why Cop. Wild Cop, okay. Some interesting shops. Yeah, it's just drizzling a little bit. Oh, the title of that shop over there, Left for Dead. Lovely. <laughs> Come on. Everyone's got their Christmas uh, dressing out, haven't they? Now, yeah, Pops, want some pillows? Maybe we've got a Westy one. I can't see a Westy one. No, it's a, got a Yorky one. Hey, Pops? I've got a Westy one. I'm going to head over the English Bridge, it's called. Okay, that says Stone marks the boundary of the two parishes which formerly stood on the old English or Stone Bridge, which was demolished in 1774. Okay. <laughs> and they're, they're old troughs, aren't they, for horses there? Are they? Oh, yeah, we, the they've got, no, no, here. Oh, just here, yeah. Are they? Or yeah. are they just carved stones? No, no, because so if you look, they've got like hooks on them. Well, I've got a hook on it, but I don't know if it's a trough, or is it? Oh, we filled it in. I think it is. No. No, it is. <laughs> Why has it got all these hooks on it then? Like oh maybe. Oh it. maybe, yeah, you may be right. I feel, yeah, filled it in for some reason. Anyway. We're heading towards the Abbey. I don't think I've ever seen the Abbey, so I don't think we'll be able to go in being Sunday. But yeah. There's the river again. Mm. 
stick no bills. <laughs> <laughs> Not through there. Yeah. There's the river. Yeah. Railway bridge over here. Yeah, that is the Abbey. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Unusual, isn't it? Yeah. Welcoming pilgrims since 1083. It must be a service on or something at the moment, so we won't, we won't go in, we won't disturb them. Well, don't really want to go in there. It's got a huge Christmas tree in there. Is it? Yeah. Different, lots of music in there. Oh. Yeah, it's a bit of brief history. Founded in 1083 as a Benedictine monastery by Roger de Montgomery, principal, principal councillor to William the Conqueror. It hosted English parliaments under Edward I and Richard II, and to the shrine of St Winifred, memorial to the to war poet, poet Wilfred Owen. Owen. And the fictional, fictional sleuth, sleuth, brother Cadfell. That's where I recognise it from. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, Cadfell. Cadfell, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Now they're getting ready for their service, they're all okay. handing out hymn books. Okay. They're not careful, you know, I'll be <laughs> sitting down and <laughs> you'll be out in the cold. Just a little look at the Abbey from the outside. Why do these signs always say no overnight caravan parking? <laughs> I'm sure that's not what they mean. <laughs> the advert for the Welsh Bull and Lamb Fair light railway. Okay. You're right, babe. The right, pups. Mucky feet, aren't Got you? Got mucky feet, haven't you? Yeah, the old S&M Railway Abbey Station. Is this actual station then? Well, it was. It's not anymore, I don't think. Okay. Okay. So it looks like they started rebuilding it, but uh, ran out of money. Yeah, we, could e we could easily get lost around here. The Golden Cross, you say the Market Cross is down there. Well, it looks like a, an old building. Uh. Okay, yeah, the one they always put in the middle, you mean? Yeah. yeah. So it might be the centre of everything. Yeah. Perhaps you want to carry it like this. That's quite good, isn't it? Yeah, you could get the boots to match. The boots won't fit, Poppy. No, it's for you. Oh, for me. Poppy. That'd be Poppy and that'd be you. They're a bit bigger than Poppy, isn't it? Yeah. Coat's only £699. How much? £699. <laughs> what, which one? Pounds. This coat. Oh, that one. I don't know how much the dog one is. That's probably half the price. Here we are. Dog's welcome, Pops. You want to come in? Come on then. Can't see much, I'm all steamed out. <laughs> no, I'd just take my glasses off. Oh, menu for you? Yes, a little bit steamed up. We found a nice cafe that's dog friendly. And what are they called? Ginger and Co coffee. Yeah, very nice it is too. Yeah, it was very nice. Ginger and Co. Coffee Shop and Eatery, Princess Street, by the cross here. Just going to have a look at it. It's a very interesting building, isn't it? You think this is a market cross thing? Oh, wow. It's a plaque at the end. Oh, yeah. What's going on there? Okay. Oh, it's the Market Hall. Okay. Oh, so it's built by the town of Shrewsbury in 1595-96. Ground floor was used as a corn market and the upper floor was used by the Shrewsbury drapers for the purchase of woolen cloths bought by, on ponies from North Wales. Okay, plaque commemorates the 60th anniversary in 1986 of the Rotary Club. 
Oh shit, yeah, Poppy's, Poppy's hurt her paw. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to head back to the van now and uh, dry out a little bit. <laughs> You're all feeling a bit soggy, aren't they? Yeah. But at least it has stopped raining. Just spotted there's a, a Shrewsbury edition of Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd have known?